this is me and today I am at Bloomfields Horse Boxes. I'm going to be giving you the ultimate horse box tour as well as showing you around the factory, how these are made, having a little bit of a go myself. But anyway, let's head around the corner and give you a show around. When buying a new car, usually you want to have a look in the front, but with the horse box, I feel like it's a little bit more exciting in the back. So. If we open it up, let's see where the horses go. Wow. Look how cool this is, guys. I love how there's these really squishy panels here. So obviously, when you're going around a roundabout, your horse can lean on it when they're going around the corner. Um, obviously, this one isn't quite finished yet. They still need to put some more like rubber matting down. But look how good this is so something that we actually have on our van is we bought a bit of rubber matting to go over the gap because joey actually once um clipped his shoe off in the gap um so this one does not have a gap at all it has a lovely little squishy bit here so you don't have to worry about your horse getting trapped in the gap their shoes getting stuck in there just the ergonomic um ideas they have in these horse boxes are so cool and the middle partition moves. It slides, guys. So if I just unclip everything, look. Woo! How much space? How cool is that? Okay, I'm gonna slide it back now. Slidey, slidey. And then we come along. Put that back in and put that back in. Easy. And then if I come through to the back, there's actually two saddle stands, which is brilliant on both sides. So if you're doing like a venting or a combined training where you need a dressage saddle and a jump saddle, or if there are two horses back here and you've got two saddles that you need, there's not one that's really high up that I can't reach. There's also a really nice step here as well. So you can step up and down when mine, it's a little bit more of a leap to get into, but yeah, nice little step, close it all up, nice window, very nice. So this is actually the 3.5 ton professional model. So this is the same as what Holly Smith has and Charlotte Dujardin. But how about I show you one that's even bigger. So this is the five ton Aventer model. So this would be perfect if you're doing a stay away show, a three day event, or taking your ponies on holiday because there is a lot of living in the back. So let's take a look. Oh my goodness. All right, guys, welcome to the inside. How nice is this? So I'm currently chilling on the sofa, which can actually be made into a bed as well. So, you know, can I have the horsey sleepover. Um, there's a stereo, there's climate control. There's also solar panels on the roof. So um, that's awesome. There is a bar as well because, you know, Horsey people do have a reputation, so you know you can have a bit of a bit of a party horse box here. We have a TV. How cool is that? We have loads of cupboards and storage up here um, because there is a cooker and oven as well. So you know you can have like your pasta, your bits and bobs, your food and things, your snacks because you know at horse shows you're gonna need a lot of snacks. There's a sink for doing your washing up. There's a cupboard, there's a microwave. There is literally everything you could want in here. If I take over here, there's also a shower. There's a toilet, there's a sink. It, what more could you want really? Also, something I love about this is if I open it up, you can just say hi to your horses while you're chilling in here, having a cup of tea, and you can open the bottom as well so you can just walk on in. 
We're now where the horses go and in the back of this model it's a little bit different but we still have the sliding partition that I love. So you can also move it in this direction too if I just click it into place which would be brilliant if you maybe like to tack up your horse in the back of the horse box. Joey is definitely one of those horses that does prefer that. Um, so that's really great because you have so much more space to move around and also you might be wondering Esme if the back is living then where do you put your tack well there is a handy little door here if I open it up you can put your saddle in here you can put your bridle on the bridle hook and it is very deep as well so you can put loads of saddle pads in there boots everything you can imagine and of course there's one exactly the same on the other side so again if you have two horses or two saddles plenty of room and we can't forget about the driver the interior here is so nice as you guys know i love my matchy matchy and even the interior matches so the seats and obviously you can custom choose all the colors which is something I love. Um, also up here we have a little screen so when you're reversing there's a reversing camera but also when you're driving along and moving forward you can see what the horses are getting up to in the back. All right let's take this three and a half ton professional model for a spin. All right so it's been a little while since I've driven something this big but if I belt up turn it on oh wow okay it's only done five miles so no pressure let's hope we don't crash it it's an automatic so that is brilliant got the little camera up there it's quite fun to look at but anyway let's go Alright guys, I thought I'd have a little stop and talk to you guys about what it's like to drive and oh my goodness, it is so much easier than I was expecting. It's an automatic so you don't have a nasty clutch and obviously it's so much nicer compared to having a trailer where there's something at the back, it swings out, it's just like driving a slightly bigger car really. So um, anyway, I will see you guys when we are back at the factory. me what did you think honestly I'm used to driving quite a small car and this really didn't feel that much bigger I've had a little look around the back as well and they are just absolutely beautiful fantastic would you like to have a look around how we build them yeah sure that'd be awesome come with me so here we are outside the back of the factory this is where we store all of our new chassis the Bloomfields are all built on brand new platform cabs so when you buy a Bloomfields you get a brand new unregistered vehicle with zero miles on it. Oh, awesome. Um, so these are the platform cabs that we use. They're all ready for us to put a body on. We have recently launched a new brand called Equito, which is built on a pre-owned chassis. So it just makes it a little bit more affordable, but also a fantastic build quality. But as we're looking at the Bloomfields today, we can take you around the factory and show you exactly how they go from this to a beautiful horse box. Brilliant. So Esme, this is our fabrication department. Anything that involves metalwork is made in this part of the factory. It then moves into the assembly line for the coach builders to assemble the vehicles. We use jigs for most of our parts that we use because we want to get total quality control and make sure that the sizes are exactly the same on each horse box. It's actually quite busy in here. How many horse boxes would you say you make in about a year? Um, so over 12 months, we generally make up to around 200 horse boxes. Oh, wow, okay, quite yeah. a lot of them. Would you like to go and see how they're put together? Yeah, let's sure. go. This is the assembly area. We've got two different production lines. One is predominantly for the event range, which you've got the living in the back. And the other line is for anything that doesn't have living, for example, the professional, the Bloomfields one, or any of the legacy range. Each of these A-frames has got the entire horse box on it, so that our coach builders have just got to build the horse box 
to the drawings that they've been given for each vehicle. That's so cool. Can I have a little look at this like half made one over here? Yeah, of course. So next, Helen showed me the Bloomfield strength tested bulkhead. You only get to see this during the build process, but it is incredibly important as it protects the driver and the passengers from serious injury in the event of an accident. So next it's time to have a little go myself. So I headed to Carpentry where they hand make all the beautiful interiors. All right, it's now my turn to do it. And I don't know if I'm going to be as successful. This is actually really satisfying. Okay, so for the next stage, apparently I need to wear this. So let's get changed. <laughs> guys I now have my beautiful outfit on because I'm gonna be helping out with sanding down the horse boxes getting them all nice and smooth and prepared and ready for painting which is happening over there let's get sanding <laughs> After sanding, the horse boxes go through to paint. I'm here in a sealed, air-fed spray mask so I'm not breathing in the fumes and giving this horse box some finishing touches in this amazing matte burgundy colour. All the designs are bespoke for each individual customer. So we're in the painting room, as you would have seen earlier, but here is the horse box that I was painting the bits for and how pretty is this colour? So this customer, this custom chose everything so the color the design we've got a horse head here under all of this like tape and things this can look so awesome when it's done this is the original design that was worked through with the customer and here is the finished product looking great even with a little bit being sprayed by me wow helen that was so awesome to be able to see what it takes and all the hard work to make your beautiful horse boxes i'm so glad you've enjoyed it we're really proud of what we produce we've been building horse boxes for 16 years now and we believe that we just keep getting better and the company's getting bigger but we do produce other things as well. Would you like to see? Yeah, sure. So Esme, this is what else we do. We've got our own clothing brand called Team Bloomfields. Oh, cool. We do everything from technical riding wear to general everyday fashion wear. And I thought maybe you could pick something for a giveaway. That would be awesome. So. Um, all the information for my giveaway will be over on my Instagram page at this underscore Esme. So be sure to find the giveaway post on there. But anyway, I better start picking. There's a lot to go through. <laughs> All right, guys, what do you think to the outfit? Again, be sure to check out the giveaway. But anyway, before today's video ends, I'd like to say a huge thank you to Bloomfield's Horse Boxes for very kindly having me here today for filming. I've had so much fun. If you'd like to check them out, I'll leave a little link in the description below. But anyway, guys, I'd like to say a huge thank you to you guys for watching today's video. If you're new or have not done so already, please like and subscribe because it really does help me out and I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Guys, I think they might have left the key in this one. Definitely not going to drive away with it. No, no, not, not, not at all. Not at all.